Good morning, good morning from Chicago, the risk management capital of the world. I'm Alan Duckman with Trading Advantage with your morning market stir for Thursday, August 8th. Well, the stock market was down about 0.3% across the board yesterday after opening lower, staying lower most of the day. That was the third consecutive session on the downside. The EMEA S&P was down six at 1688, but did hold that 1680 pivot we've been talking about. 1680 and a half was the low of the session. The Dow ended up being down 37, 15,437. 15,375 was the new low, new relative lows after making these all-time highs here in the last week or so. The NASDAQ finished off three at 3115. The dollar index led the day, another push lower, new six-week lows, 81.30, down 36. And we had an 81.28 low, so closed right near the low of the session. That pushed the euro currency up, 133.41, up 34, with 134 looming up above as a resistance level. Bond market did have a bounce up 24 ticks, 133.29, again right around that 134 pivot. And crude oil was off $1.13, 104.17 can't maintain above 105. It had a pretty tight range yesterday. $1.60 was the range between the high and the low as the market tries to decide direction. And gold held strong up to at 1284.5 after breaking below 1300 and closing below. The low yesterday was 1272. So 1267 was that breakout low from a few weeks ago that we'll want to keep an eye on as support. So after another quiet day, but drifting lower, another down day in stocks, where do things stand on this Thursday morning to start a new trading day? We've got a little bit of a bounce, 1693 in the E-mini S&P, up five points right now. The S&P is trading between the 1680 level of support and that 1705 all-time highs from just a few sessions ago. Dow futures are up 50, 15,492, and the Nasdaq's up 12 at 3128. 3140 is the not all-time high, but the all-time high for our purposes the last 13 years. 3140 is within striking distance in the Nasdaq as a, as a tech sector continues to lead the way with some good earnings numbers coming out. The dollar index is down another 13 at 8119, and the euro currency again pushing that 134 at 133.60 right now, up 20. Bonds are steady, 133.31. The yield on the 30-year Treasury is 3.68%, kind of stuck at these levels. And crude oil is unchanged at 104.37. Again, 105 is a pivot that we want to keep an eye on uh, to see if it can push uh, back above and make another attack on the 108 level. And gold right now is positive up three dollars, 12.89. Again, 1300 is the is the pivot in gold that uh, we push below. We'll see if we can finish back above that on a weekly basis to give gold some stability, anyways. So to wrap up the current action, with two hours to go before the cash stock market open, we're positive. We're up 50 in the Dow futures. We're up five points in the E-mini S&P as we stand right now. I will see you early Friday morning for the morning market stir to set up your trading day. Alan Nuckman from Trading Advantage here at the CME Group, where it all comes back to commodities. Mm -hmm.